Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to continue on with the bulkhead door into the engine room. It's uh, quite a serious piece of uh, steel that's going to be required to make it all. And uh, I've managed to get, I'll just flip the camera, uh, I've managed to get the piece I'm going to make the door out of. So I went to Tom Beresford and Sons over to Anthony over here in Dungarvan and we cut this just to those dimensions so I still have to put the corners into them tidy up the steel and I will have all the parts the angle iron and the flats later on today to do the rest of it and the flange and the, the seal fittings and everything so I'm going to tidy this up and cut the radiuses into it
major grinding going on today. There's three of them up there, there's one of them I hide. Four of them actually. Three boys and Joe's. Doing amazing work. Anyway, back to uh, this little project here. I'll zoom back. So as you can see now, I have the outer ring in and I've just put in the template to do the inside ring and some pieces cut. That's be a harder set of bends to do, so I may have to do it in four different pieces. Well, we'll see how we get on. I'm going to make another template to go on the other side and try and balance it the best way I could, same as I did on the far side, the outside part. So we'll see how we get on. So the inside corners are uh, a little bit too tight for my bending gadget that I've made. So yet again we're back to the pipe switch, funnily enough, are the exact dimension. So I have four pieces cut and I've used a template, so we're nearly, nearly there. And I'm going to just double check that now with the calipers to make sure I'm maintaining 20 millimeters of a gap, which is for the seal, and then I'll tack it on the inside. That'll all get fully welded up in this one time. So I'll just that's how I'm going to do it. Four corners to do yet.
So then I've just done the uh, corner to corner, the whole way around and in, just to get easy. So I wasn't putting too much heat in the one area, so just keep moving around. But it's well and truly stuck to the uh, solid frame at the back. And none of the wells, as much as they have penetrated in, you can just see a few of them there. But I'm not going to cause any problems there. The seal sheet is absolutely still flat, it hasn't warped because I've minded it. But there's absolutely no warp in it. So by the time I have this finished and sanded all those I just sanded around there, this will look amazing. So this is the bulkhead door now finished, or at least sanded and fully welded. We'll turn it over now in a second myself and Dara. So it's turned out really, really well and weighs a ton. Total amount of time it took it was, I think I predicted, so something like 20 to 30 hours. Did the whole thing in 18. So, total cost of the steel 107 euro versus a 1200 euro door minimum and a couple of hundred quid to ship it. And uh, I'll just give you a look at the other side now in a sec, so I'll just change the camera. So, this is the door uh, in its open position, more or less the way it's going to be. It's actually going to open in that exact orientation. So the frame is uh, 40 mil angle iron, all nice and rounded. I presume it was just nicer to make it round. It was a lot harder to do it, but every bulkhead I've ever seen has had a rounded door, so it just made, you know looks nicer. So that's the frame, and uh, then the actual door itself. You can see the reinforcing in it. And that's 50 mil by six bent in there and then tapered down 50 down to 25 and these are 25 mil so the outside is completely rounded as you can see really smooth ready for paint the inside seam isn't welded it doesn't need to be but the joints are where i did join them that's actually a joint there and you can't see it and uh, the same then on the inside is welded the inside of the seal channel is welded the whole way around and it's not welded on the inside there. So what will go in there, that's exactly 20 millimeters, give or take half a millimeter. And uh, eight or 10 mil neoprene seal is going to go in there and have it ordered. Bend all around, join it at the top, glue it and stick it in there. So that'll become the seal then that'll press against. And if there is, you know, there is a slight, slight deflection in the door maybe two millimeters in the center it just rises up slightly and that'll all be taken out then once the door is clamped shut so we'll have three points there one two three to lock it and three hinges on this side which i'll make in the next couple of days so absolutely thrilled with this i didn't think i'd uh, a make it and b i uh, wasn't in a position to spend 1200 quid on a door and a couple of hundred quid to ship it so i don't see the you know now we have the real thing here it's as good as you'd buy anywhere else, so I'm happy to stand over it. And we have to have it because we're a Category A boat, which means we're full ocean going, so it has to have watertight compartments, i.e. the engine room. So this will be more than watertight. Anyway, thank you.